Hey guys, it's that time again for another video update of what I've got going on. Um, I had been firing my gun, I hadn't been recording it, just kind of messing around, and started off pretty well, started off pretty normal, just kind of firing. Um, what ended up happening is uh, at the end of a shot, the barrel wasn't sealing very well. Um, it had a not a significant leak but it was definitely leaking quite a bit. In fact, it was leaking enough where it wouldn't uh, fire again um, after one shot. So, decided to take it apart. It's really easy. I'll show you that in a second, how this thing comes apart. I'm pretty sure I've shown it in another video, uh, but whatever. Uh, if you can see these guys up here, I've got uh, the two, uh, and I'm, I'm missing one that I was doing some work on, and I can't seem to find it. Not important. Uh, got two of the Delrin, uh, pistons for inside the QEV that I had machined myself. Neither of those would seal against the barrel. Then this guy here is the stock one um, with a spring behind it and uh, some holes drilled through it so that it would, uh, that you could fill from the uh, chamber side. Um, let me show you what happened here. The way that these are made um, and this is in the other, my larger QEV gun is made the same way. It is a, sorry about the poor lighting and the fact that my camera can't focus on things close up. Um, it is a brass core that's surrounded in some kind of rubber. I'm not sure what rubber this is. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's a piece of brass. Hopefully you can see the, the brass in the bottom there. It's a piece of brass that they just overmold rubber around. Uh, what ended up happening is, obviously you can see that, um, the brass, or sorry, the rubber ripped just from the, the impact of this and how many times I've shot it and the pressure I'm using it at, the rubber actually ripped clean off the face of the uh, valve, or the piston, sorry. And so obviously it wasn't sealing against the barrel. When I actually opened this up for the first time, there was little pieces of rubber still stuck on it. Uh, I ended up cutting those off and I tried gluing some rubber to it. Um, it didn't seal. Uh, and there you can see the spring that I put behind it. Um, my thought process was, well, you can find these QEVs used on eBay for dirt cheap, this specific model. Uh, you can find them for like, in the US, you can find them for, you know, $10, $15 uh, shipped generally. And usually they include some cool fittings on them. They uh, include some uh, like quick disconnect compression fittings and sometimes they have uh, silencers on them uh, You know just depending on the application they were used at uh, before they went up on eBay uh, So yeah, you can get you know some neat little stuff that you can use in a future project all for like 10 15 bucks so I was like, you know what? I can't find this piston the company doesn't sell it. You have to buy the whole valve So I was like well worst comes to worst. I'll just buy You know a whole new valve so I'll have another body and the fun accessories that it comes with whatever um I decided, like I said, I had glued a piece of rubber on there. It, it didn't really last long, and it, it, regardless, it didn't seal even the first time using it. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try something. Instead of using Delrin or nylon, I, I also tried some nylon valves, which I never showed in any of my videos. Um, sorry, I keep on saying valves instead of pistons. I tried some nylon pistons, which I never showed. Uh, I thought, you know what, let's uh, let's try something new. I've got the time and material, um, and so I did. And I will show you that right now. This barrel is on there hand tight. I already pre-loosened it. Um, it seals with an O-ring as well. Um, probably going to have to dump this out without being on camera. We'll try and do it on camera here. Nope, not going to. So anyway, here's what I came up with. It is this. It is a piece of brass that I machined on the lathe. Uh, it fits, it's the same diameter as the uh, widest part of the uh, stock piston. I drilled out the back for two reasons. One is to save weight. The lighter this is, the faster it'll open and close. Uh, and then also the less 
the less force it has when it slams back up against the barrel so hopefully the longer the rubber will last on here and uh, then I glued with uh, I used CA glue or super glue cyano acrylate um, and I roughed up the surface of the brass where the rubber attached uh, all I used was a razor blade and I just scratched the crap out of it in a ton of different directions and then I used uh, CA glue and an adhesion promoter it's just a spray that you spray on one surface you put your CA glue on the other and then you hold the two together and it's supposed to be an instant bond and then once that was done I also sprayed the entire thing with the adhesion promoter um, and it's holding on there really well so far at least uh, I then kind of crappily just put the uh, put the brass piece down and the piece of rubber I used was pretty large and I just trimmed around it and uh, yeah it's holding up pretty well and the gun is working great again uh, so yeah not only did I drill it to make it lighter but I also put a spring in there here's the spring uh, so the spring sits inside there it just gives it a little more um, you can you know you can use a longer spring um, while still having it you know actuate and push up against the barrel to seal it right away uh, I didn't have to drill any holes in it or anything because although it's almost the same diameter as uh, the QEV internal diameter there is enough of a gap where the air just scoots all the way around it um, and yet it still functions great uh, it still slams back and seals and, and does everything you need it to so uh, yeah I just figured there you go I'd show you guys that my uh, homemade piston uh, and my first one that actually worked um, so that's great I am planning on making a very large QEV um, so now I have some ideas about how I can make the piston uh, but it'll be a future video one more thing before I go um, this whole assembly probably looks exactly the same this one is slightly different it's not hundred percent done yet I had uh, printed a new one of these um, this part here and let's see if I can get this on camera Ugh. Um, it has a hump here which my other one did not and this is drilled and tapped for a number 440 screw um, what that is going to do is I don't have the screw in there yet obviously but the screw goes through there and it keeps this handle from moving further out so that this uh, piece can't come out the, uh, the plunger because right now you can take it out, it falls out, um, which I have happened to me all the time when I forget about it. So this way, it's just going to uh, press up against the, the top of the uh, trigger there, and I'll be able to adjust the position I want it at, and it'll keep the uh, internals of the valve from falling out. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Any questions, comments, um, you know, feel free to do that. If you want to like, subscribe, I'll be hopefully getting some more videos up here soon. I'll, I'll be firing this thing at the at uh, you know 400 ish psi um, just to show you how easy this works you also notice this is is a, a different design um, I'm working around with the uh, the volume um, for multiple shots the, you know the best of both worlds power and and multiple shots out of one tank so anyway uh, take it easy guys and we'll catch you on the next one take care